Hey guys, Kate here from Discovery Center. Have you ever wondered, how do people lie on a bed of nails? Sounds kind of uncomfortable, doesn't it? I wouldn't want to do it. But Dr. Steg, our Stegosaurus friend here, he's standing on a bed of nails. Let's see what the science is behind it. So you may have seen magicians or circus performers do that age old trick where they lay down on a bed of nails and they're not hurt. Well, it all has to do with weight distribution. So if I were to take this balloon and set it just on one of these nails, it would probably pop, right? <gasps> but if I take a balloon and I set it down really carefully, let's see what happens. So people are a lot like this balloon here. You've got a skin covering an inner layer that's uh, a little more delicate. In this case, it's air. So we want the balloon to be evenly distributed across the, the bed of nails, and we're gonna apply even pressure to it. So if you're a person laying on a bed of nails, you're gonna wanna evenly distribute your weight so that one or two of those nails does not puncture your skin. So we're gonna take our balloon and we're gonna set it down here in the middle, and I've got my presser board. And now I'm gonna push down. You can see that the balloon, although it's stretching, is not popping over the, over the nails. So it's the same kind of concept with people and a bed of nails. So now you know the trick behind the circus.